Hey guys, welcome back to Living for the Outdoors. Here's the first sets for the day in the little woods here. Got some beans, some corn over there with my dad and my brother in law. Hardwoods here for some hardwoods coon. Here we got DP with the marshmallow on top with the fish bait in it. Chained off to the tree. Straight some fish oil around. Then right next to it, we got ourselves a live trap against this tree. We caught, this is where our first coon was ever caught, right here. Bringing it back to the old times. We got some sardines in there. Same bait as last year. So hopefully we catch one here. Plan on putting a one and a half out dirt hole set. And see when I build this set with the one and a half. Okay guys, just got that coil spring set. Should have made it on video, but I'll have to make sure to do one today. But we're on a four wheeler trailer. And right here's a tree stand that they always poop on. Then right there's a cornfield. So what I did was I built I had seen this tree, so I built a little, the trap is right here, that, the leaf is the pan, and then I got some cat food in there. Sprayed a little fish oil on the tree, and then I put some backing up here, so they step on the pan. So that should be a good working trap, hopefully we have one tomorrow. I'll make sure to get a uh, building one on video today, I'm sorry I didn't build it on video. But yep, yeah, we got the trail, the toilet and corn so they should should have one so yeah see you guys at the next spot okay guys we're gonna make a dirt hole set for you this is a perfect backing this was already here got a deer stand that's not used then we got a trail coming right here from coon um got a whole bunch of dps up over there i'll make sure to show them to you four-wheeler grassy woods area so what you're gonna do I just got an axe here. I'm gonna make myself a little spot. This is muddy. This isn't the best, but I'll have to do for my one and a half. I'm making a spot for it. You can see how much room it's gonna need, and then I'll do my hole right up there. Make a nice little, it doesn't have to be deep. This is probably a little too deep already. I, the muddy stuff isn't the best to cover up the trap with, but I have caught him with the trap covered up with muddy. There, I just set the trap on accident. So that should be good. I'm gonna set the trap again. Set that right there. Oh, sorry, I had to reset it. Okay. Get these leaves off here. Get that position. Have to dig it out a little bit. Let's go at an angle with an axe if you're using any axe. Should take it right off. That should be perfect. trap will go there then this is a shovel we got made just a little PVC with an angle and then a sick smaller hole bigger hole I like my holes kind of big so I can get the food down there you don't need the hole too big that's probably about perfect right there. And if say you don't have one, I just I use a sh st stake and just put it in there. There's your hole. That's where the trap will go. Uh, stake right up in here. Should have to cover this up quick. Okay, what you're gonna want to do? Take my gloves off. Uh, if you got a dead leaves or even live leaves. Big flat ones like this work perfect. What you're gonna do is you're gonna slide that under there if you don't have the pans. I, 
hope you guys can see. It should be perfect. Then just like that, then what you're gonna wanna do is I get another big flat leaf. About the biggest one right here. And set it right on top of there. Maybe even one more. Actually, I'm gonna wanna set that a little lighter. I need a stick. You want that pan set very light. So when the animal does step on it, he doesn't have to give a lot of pressure. So there you go. I'm going to put the leaves on there again. Then I'm going to put my gloves on back for the mud. Take this mud, crumple it up, and just put it around here. Again, what I said, this isn't the best mud because or dirt because it's so wet and you want it nice and crinkly. And I don't have dry dirt. Some people don't use mud, but it works. I've cut coon with it. As long as it's not freezing over the night, you should be good. Coon are attracted to shiny stuff, so if you do have shiny left on it, they're just going to put their hand on it and play with it, and you're most likely going to step on the trap. I do have a, sift, or a sifter at home I should bring, bring it tomorrow, I'm setting traps and resetting. good right there just cover up that little bit cover up the dog the pan covered up there we go perfect set I just gotta stake down the trap just stake it right down by the street No way that's coming out. Then what I'm using for bait is just this food. Sorry if my sweatshirt ring gets in the video. But I'm just using this cat food. This is uh, fish flavor. Sorry this part might be a little while. That looks pretty good for this. And I don't know how you want these videos, guys, if you want me to just... Because this one, I'm going to make a video of it alone. But do you want me to make a video of week sketches? Or, like, every two days? Or It's up to you guys how you want it. I mean, it really is. How you guys want it. Don't matter to me. Down there. I don't want to use this all on there. Then take the lid and smear that around for scent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fish oil, spray some fish oil around it. I'm not going to put that on video. That actually smells really good, guys. I should be able to catch something in here. So there we go. On to the next ones. Okay, guys, this is where the DPs are. We're on a fence line with some long grass. Got some water flowing through. Right over there is my... Uh, set and up here's the DPs. I got two DPs right here. There's a little marshmallow on top so because it's supposed to rain tonight. Then we got uh, fish flavored in there with some anus oil and we got some like glow-in-the-dark kind of bait we got and then fish flavored so two there. Then we got this 160 back here in this cage with some fish bait back there. Then we got one more DP up over here. Up right here. We got trails going up and around. This one has the fishy bait in it also. So we should be able to catch a couple here. Did pretty good here last year, so. See you at the next spot. We got one more spot in this woods where another feeder was. So see you there. Okay. 
Okay, we're at the next spot, same was, just a little ways away. Had a feeder right there that was emptied. Here we got a coil spring against this big tree. Right there is a trap by the leaf. And then we got some backing and some uh, fish food. Some, I sprayed some grease around. Then we got one DP, two DP, and three DP. This is where that feeder was, you can tell. Then we got one of these, I guess you can call it box set, cage set for the one, 160s. Right back up in there. Let me get you guys straight. Sorry, can't hold you guys straight there. There's just some food in the back. So we're gonna go off to the next spot. Sorry for the windiness. Next is under a bridge, if I recall. So I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, we're at the next, uh, well we're in the same woods, right down there was the uh, traps I just showed you. And then here's, we had a feeder right here, right where, where I'm stepping. Then we got a new DP right here. Then right over here we got, geez, where are they all? Over here's one. Wanted up bank. Looks like they're kind of walking up from here, crossing the little creek and going there. And then I got a bank set right here. I showed you guys my can trick. The bottom part's for the live traps and the top part's for the bank shininess. You can see right here's my trap. And you want to make sure you have your dog that way otherwise when an animal steps on it it will hit them out of the trap and that's not good. I just got some sardines in there. We got one more up here just like that. Here we just got PVC and the cat food and my traps right there, dog facing that way. Stake down. So hopefully we got some. Next we're doing some bridges. Stay tuned for that. Okay guys, just set some more traps. Here we got a DP. It's a bridge here. I'll go up there and make sure to show you guys the tra traps we set there. Uh, river. DP there. Then we got a dirt hole right here. There's a fox around here digging up. And there's sand everywhere, so make it look like a fox digging up there. I just got to bait that one yet. So, see you at the next spot. Okay, here's a bank that I made. It's a pipe. Got some of this food in here. And then the one and a half's right there. Sprayed a little fish oil around it. Then up over here. Got ourselves a one and a half. Or, I mean, a duck proof. Come up here. I got another one around here somewhere. I don't even know where it is. I think it's up near one, right there. So we got one right here. A little anus oil on it. Then that is all we got up there. They're setting, oh, nope, there's one more up over here. And they're setting some more up there on that sandbar. Oh, right there it is. I know it's gonna be a long video but it's for the trappers. I know trapping like, trapping people like videos on trapping. So I'm gonna make this its own video for setting out traps. So I'm just gonna go bait that other one and a half quick and see you at the next spot. Okay guys, got some more traps set. Right here is a little bay area, curves around. And up over there is where you saw the other traps across the river. We got a 220 box right here. 20 bucks, a little food back there, and come over here. Got the bank set, dry land bank set. Got the one and a half right up there, right there. Cat food kind of mixture in there, and we think this is a den tree. You seen the um, picture, of, video of the feeder right up over there. We got a DP right here. I mean, pick me for wrong, but look at this bark. It looks like they've been crawling up here and ripping bar bark off. But that's our theory. So we'll see. And then, down over here. Got some more DPs. There's a 
cocoon toilet over here. Right here's a DP. Right there's a DP. Must have got ran away or washed away by the rain, but there's usually always scat here, so this is a good spot. And they're always running in and out of this corner. Oh, we actually got a live trap back here. They walk right through here. We got a live trap right there. We got another live trap straight out that way. I'm not going to walk to it though. But there you go. We got like two more woods left. So see you guys at them. Okay, guys, we're out here at the last spot. Big cornfield. What we did was a guy was bear. He had a bear bile and then he got kicked out. But here's a DP of where they're coming in and out. Got some poop up here on this rock pile. And we got another DP right here. And if we come down here, we got a 160 down there where they're coming in and out. From underneath. Got a live trap on one of their trails. DP on another one of their trails. DP there. Here's a bear pile. Got a little one and a half stuck right there. DP. Um, got them all spread out all over here. Here's DP. This must have been where his first bait, first bait pile was. Uh, another DP. Here's a 220 in the box here. It's basically we just got a lot of DPs in this area. There's a food plot there. Another live trap right up here. So this was the last spot. I mean, I'll have a video up tomorrow what we all catch yeah so make sure to stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching and see you guys next time